What's up everyone? Welcome to your 30 minute glute builder workout. I'm so proud of you for showing up today. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells and optional pieces of equipment, kettlebell and your glute resistance bands. We've got 60 second work periods for five exercises today and we'll be moving with those glute bands in between. So grab your water and your sweat towel and let's get started. All right, go ahead and throw your glute band on. We're just gonna start stepping it out side to side. And join me when you have it on. Good job, leading the way with the knees. We're gonna get the glutes warmed up. Two minutes here, then we're gonna rock into our workout. Four, three, two, and one. Hands on your hips, let's go back and stand. Come up and squeeze. Good job, two more. Up, last one. And we take it into a squat for seven. Knees go out, six, five, good work, four, three, two, last one, come up to the top, kick your heels back, seven, seven, six, six, good job, let's go, four, Four, lead with the heel, flex the glute. Two more each leg. One more each side and then face me. Good job, let's take it out to the side. Six, there you go. Five, same thing, lead with your heel. You should feel it up top here. Four, three, two, and one, hands on your hips, reach up, let's open, open, good job. We're gonna start with banded squats, okay? So, gonna open it up, dumbbell can be on your back if you are able, or right out front. Here we go, two, one, and you've got 60 seconds. I want you to lower slow, come up, squeeze. Good job. Because this is a strength workout, take your time between reps. I want you pushing heavy weights, okay? Great job. Great work, just about 20 seconds. And I want you to rest less at the top. Here we go, one, two, one, two, back down. Good. Three. Great job. All right, we've got that for three more rounds. If you can go heavier, let's do it. If you need to drop your dumbbell down here, that's also fine, okay? Advance, make it a little tougher, and let's go. Three, here we go. Really digging the heels down and driving the knees out. When you're working your glutes, you wanna make sure you're hitting them in all three planes of motion. All three ways that the glutes are hit the best. This is a sagittal plane movement. We've got that, we've got frontal plane, and then we've got hip extension. We're gonna hit all of those today. Four rounds through each move, and then we're done with it. Good, 10 more seconds, rest less at the top, let's go. And 15 seconds rest, good job. You can advance your band strength, you can advance your weights, you can switch it to a low hold. I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna switch my hold down low. Let's keep going, ready? Two, one. Good 
There you go, this is round three. We only have four. Focus, you're doing great. Last 30, rest a little bit less at the top, okay? One, two. Strong back. Last 10, right here. Beautiful. One more round. If you can go heavier, you gotta do it. Here we go, here we go. Big deep breath, rock it out. Three. Ready? Come on. Last 30, come on, let's go. Push, 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 drive the knees out. 10. Four, three. And you've got 30 seconds rest. Beautiful job. You can take your band off. We're going into Romanian deadlifts now. Two rounds per leg, okay? You have the option to lift or just stagger, okay? Back is strong and flat. Relax those shoulder blades down and around your spine, not your ears, okay? Left leg first, two. Let's go. 60 seconds right here. You can also do anything you want with your back leg. You can put it on the bench, you can put it on a wall. Okay, stagger. We just gotta have a good stretch here. Squeeze the glute to bring it back forward and make sure you're not trying to scoop yourself back up. It's straight back, engage, straight forward. Twenty seconds. Let's go. Squeeze. This is a lot of hamstring work here, which ties right into the glute. That's a part of a lot of people's bodies that they're working on, feeling that connection. And rest. Good job. Fifteen seconds. You go to the other leg. Okay. Same thing. When I mentioned you can put your foot back on something, it's just to get it out of the way. Okay, hips go back and forward. Three, two, let's go, come on. Great job. Keep your core tight, exhale before you go and wrap your core muscles. Instead of reaching down with your ribs, control them, then hinge. Four. Rest, good job. If you can go heavier, this is round two on each side, so let's go. Stay there if you need to. Last 
Let's go. Maybe get a little lower this time. Give me a little bit more squeeze at the top this time. Something to make this tougher on round two for your leg. Maybe you can challenge yourself to lift. Let's go. We've got time here. Don't rush these reps. Make them great. Feel that stretch. I like to think of showing my hamstring tendons to everyone behind me. All the fibers in my muscle. I'm spreading them, stretching them, and then shorten and squeeze back out front. Let's go. Three. Great job. Last one right here. Other leg. What I meant by show my hamstrings off is you wanna feel this stretch. You don't wanna just bend over. You wanna hinge back so this is stretching, okay? Two, one, last round, let's go. Back is strong, shoulders don't come forward. Nice job, work it out, come on. If you're losing your balance, keep fighting for it, okay? Got time. Good reps for 15. Good, come on, four. Rest. You've got 30 seconds and you've got two options here. We're either going fire hydrants on the ground or standing lateral raises. Okay, I wanna do standing raises. Drop down if you'd like to do fire hydrants on the ground. We're just taking that leg out from midline, okay? If you're going down to the floor, looks like this. Okay, you're standing, heels lead the way. We go in four, right here. Let's get it. Heels up, and I don't want you standing and using your body to lift. I'm not using my glute at all right now. Keep it here. Drive to the side. That might even help you. Glute is lifted at the top. You feel it right up here. Great job. Last 15, bend just a little here, drive, drive, that's it. Heels. Come on, stay in it, rest. All right, round number two, you're just gonna rock with the left leg, okay? I want you to try to bend a little bit here. Tap, lift, okay? If you need to hold onto a wall, that's fine. I just want a little more stretch in this one. Okay, if you wanna go here, that's okay. Let's go. Just a slight bend over so you get a little more stretch here. Good job. If you're taking this workout to a gym, you can do this with a cable machine. That's also fine. This travels well. These bands travel well no matter where you're at. But just thinking about hitting that glute medius, the top part of your glute. You wanna feel that heel lifting your leg away from the middle of your body. Okay, last 17, bend just a little and drive. Let's go. Last one. 
Good, walk it out. Same thing on the other side. If you need to go somewhere against a wall and get this stretch, go there, okay? It's just a little one. All right, let's go. I'm gonna stay back here with you. Two, one, right leg lift. Great job. Whatever gets you to feel this the most. Okay, if you wanna stand straight up, you wanna go down to a fire hydrant, let's go. Do it. Got a whole minute to feel this work. That's it, 30 more seconds, and then we're heading back to alternating for our last round. So just hit both legs one more time before we go into hip extension exercises. And this is frontal plane. Last 10, come on. One more. Good job. You can take it down to the floor, or if you feel like you can keep control, we're right back here again, okay? I'm gonna go down to the floor. Whew. To get just a bit more stretch, you can drop down to your elbows. Let's go, 60 right here. You've got the time to have great reps. Rep quality here. Don't just get through this minute with speed. Get through it with a squeeze. Up, two, down, two. If you're working on just getting stronger, just improving the way that you lift, the way that you move, I need explosivity. I need up, okay? If you're working on adding muscle to your glutes, I need up, one, two, down, one, two. Okay, control the tempo. 14, come on. Get that knee out, away from the middle. Come on, four. And rest. You've got 30 seconds, we're flipping it over for glute bridges, okay? Grab a heavy weight. If you wanna put your shoulder blades on a bench, that will give you a bigger stretch in your glutes, a deeper range of motion, a little bit tougher to hold with the low back involved. So stability on the ground. If you wanna go there, you're gonna get a great glute workout as well, okay? Add your band to your legs if you have one, if you'd like. And right, we're going in two. Let's go, down, two, up, two. Make sure you're not lifting your low back, okay? You're lifting, squeezing your glutes together, and they squeeze tighter until you get flat, then you lower again, okay? So don't lift your low back like this. Don't stretch up and reach. Tuck it, then lift. Good job. Rest, good. All right, same thing, three more rounds. Add a band, add heavier weights. If you felt like that set, you didn't really max out your efforts, you weren't pushing for those last couple reps really hard, let's increase the resistance. Go. Good, you're looking right past your knees. Don't open up your chin and look at the ceiling. Keep it neutral, like you're holding an egg or a tennis ball right here.
12. Rest, good job. Round number three. You gotta know how to get a little tougher for yourself here. Maybe it's more reps without stopping. Maybe it's a heavier weight, heavier band. Let's go, we're in it together. Round three. That's it, come on, come on. The harder you squeeze your glutes on the way up and down, the more you get out of this, okay? Meaning don't just completely let go at the top. Slowly relax them. Last one, two, one. You got one more round. How can you make this tougher on yourself? Go there, go for it. I'm going up. Come on, here we go. Three, two, one, power it up. Come on, come on. You're over halfway home in this one. Let's go, 25. Keep it up, keep it up. Five, come on. And rest for 30. Good work. Sorry, I don't mean to scream in your ear. Amazing job. We're headed for kettlebell swings or dumbbell swings. Last exercise. Okay, I want you to do three and reset. So you take it back. One, two, three. Swing, rest, reset, tighten your back up again and go, okay? Two, let's go. You can do this with a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Good job, you got four rounds of this. Take that breath, breathe, go with power. Three. Good job. Rock into your heels, dig them down before you go. Thirty seconds, come on. Fifteen. Good, give me one more set, you got seven. Good, rest for 15. Now I want you to just use the left hand, okay? So you're taking it back, arm comes with it. Three, two, one, and reset, okay? Let's go. And we're off, 60 seconds. Good job. Don't let your shoulder dip. 15. Feel it in your hamstrings, feel it in your glutes. Come on, this is your power finisher. Ah. 
Good job. 30 seconds in, just over that. If you need to switch arms, do it. But I wanna make sure you're not letting the shoulder dip through, okay? So we take it, shoulders stay level. Three, two, okay? Then we set it back down. One more round, six. Breathe, good job. Round number three, if you did the whole entire round with your left hand, now you go to your right. If you split it up into 30, 30, same thing. Do that one more time, okay? Ready, let's go. Come on, make this yours, you're strong, you can do this. Great work, no twisting of the torso. Great work. Thirty seconds down. If you need to switch arms, go for it. Ten. And rest. Okay, you've got one more round. Both hands on the dumbbell or the kettlebell if you need to. Just do deadlifts, okay? If you're out of the power phase, you need to just focus on strength, give me deadlifts, okay? If you feel like you need to dial it back a little more, just do squats. One minute. Kettlebell swing or deadlift. Let's go. Three, reset, breathe, scoop and go. Now in this last minute, squeeze harder. Glutes, squeeze. Don't just move your hips forward. Move them by squeezing. Good job, come on, 22. Back is strong. Five. And rest. Finish the set that you were on. Drop down to your hands and your knees. And you've made it to your cool down. Shift your hips back. I want you to relax your back. I need you to have a good cool down today. Solid, solid workout. To build muscle, you have to slow it down and give yourself a bit more time in the reps. Okay, that's why this workout is called Glute Builder. I got you somewhere around 10 to 15 reps there per work period if you were doing that. One, two, one, two, two up, two down, working tempo. And that is a hypertrophic training variable, okay? So four seconds in the rep, and then after that, take anywhere from zero to five seconds rest in between reps. That's why a 60 second work period is really great. Lift it up, big deep breath in, relax your ribs and your belly down. Exhale, lift it up. If I know I need you to get Somewhere between six to 12, maybe 15 tops reps in per working set to get you into a hypertrophic training phase. I'm gonna give you a bit more time and tell you that so you can slow it down, control that 75 to 85% of your max weight dumbbell or kettlebell. And because we're working a little longer, you've got time in between reps. Drop your hips down. So if you need uh, four seconds in a rep and then four or five seconds until you start the next rep, that's okay. I just want you to keep that training variable. Moderate tempo for hypertrophic training. To build the glutes, you can't just make them burn. You gotta hit it from all angles, meaning sagittal plane like squats, frontal plane like lateral abductions, and then that hip extension exercise like kettlebell swings, glute bridges, and Romanian deadlifts. We hit all of those today. 
okay? Exhale, plank it out and then lift your hips up, heels down on the floor. And I'm so proud of you. I know this workout was not easy, but I want you to say something positive about yourself because here's the deal. You're training your mind and your body. It's not just a physical training element when you come here. If you're tired, it is also mental, right? And you're telling yourself so many things before a workout that's hard to show up to or a workout that's just hard to do. But we're not only training our physical bodies, we're training our minds to say, you know what, I did my best. I stuck with the training variables that Sydney told me. I did the best for my glutes and my hamstrings today. Bend your knees, slowly roll it up. And that is a success. Whether this was easy or extremely difficult, you did it. Okay, take one leg over the other, stretch towards that back hip side. I want you to say something positive about your experience today. Whether it was hard to show up and you did it, it was hard in the workout and you did it. Whatever it was, you showed resilience. You overcame something today and that is just as big of a part in your fitness training, your consistency, your results as the physical part. Okay, hips are, or feet are just outside your hips. Take it left and right. Workouts are physical, they are mental and they hopefully push you after this to do things that support the workouts and your goals. So nutrition after this, keep it on track. I want this workout to propel you into good decisions the next time you eat. Not, well, I did a workout so I can kind of eat whatever. I've been there before. <laughs> As a college athlete, I was there. It's like, I train so hard. I lift heavy, I sprint, I do explosive work. I deserve to eat, right? And I never really got the body composition that I desired. I was fit, I was strong, I performed well which was what I needed, but when it came to like really figuring out how much to eat, what macros to focus on, then I finally started feeling like, okay, I have a little bit more control over the way my body looks and performs, and that's dually beneficial for me, right, if that is my goal. So if that's your goal, feeling better, looking better, performing better in the workouts and outside of here, pay attention to how you're fueling this machine that is working so hard for you in and out of the workouts, okay? I love you and I'm so proud of you today. Make sure you keep stretching, keep opening up your hips, especially if you sit all day and you felt a little bit of trouble connecting with your glutes here. It might just be a tight hip or a tight upper body, never really getting you into that full hip extension position. So keep stretching your hips, keep moving throughout the day, grab some water, and before you head out, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you back here for the next one. Great job today.